Shoma Narayanan is my guest here on We Connect today. She's the first Indian to actually be commissioned by Mills and Boons to write four books for them. And it's our pleasure to have her here on this program. Now, uh, did you write as a child? Yes, I used to scribble quite a bit. Yeah. So, uh, and you know, parents were always very encouraging. That, that's always a question I need to ask my guests because uh, most, fam most guests come here and tell me, my parents encourage me, my family encourage me. How important do you believe that is for the creative process in anybody? I think it's very important because, uh, you know, I mean, honestly, if it hadn't been for my husband pushing me, uh, so but they used to keep telling me, you know, you write well, so why don't you, you know, try to do it seriously. My father-in-law was like very encouraging. So, uh, I mean, if it hadn't been for them, I probably wouldn't really have taken it up. Either. So you're the local celebrity in Jabalpur when you go home, are you? Ah, no, I haven't told anyone. <laughs> <laughs> why not? What happened? Why? Actually, you know, uh, the thing is my ties with the city are kind of lost because both okay. my parents passed away, uh, you know. All oh, right. Uh, okay, okay. Back. So, I mean, and there's just friends and neighbors there. Well, that, that's really interesting. What about your two children? You, you know, you've got two, a girl and a boy. Yeah. So, are they showing any streaks of writing, uh, you know, interest? Uh, yeah, actually, so uh, my son scribbles quite a lot. So Aditya, whenever you like, you know, he'll sit and he'll write his little story. And he's pretty imaginative. But I think his talents are more towards the drawing kind of, you know, the full creative uh, bit. Uh, my daughter makes up songs in her own head and sings. And she's really little. So she, but she's making up stories all the time. Right. Do you think you might at one point of time decide not to be a banker anymore, just to do this full time? Because you, obviously you have success literally at your doorstep now. Yeah, you know what, I'm very risk averse as a person, which really? is probably why I became a banker in the in first the place, you know, <laughs> rather than taking up English literature or something, right. you know, which was my first love. Uh, so, um, I would do it if I found this lucrative enough, uh, maybe, uh, or whatever, but as of now, I'm like, quite, uh, you know, wanting to basically continue to be a banker and write. Right. Side. Shoma, I'm not going to ask you figures, but I am going to ask that, uh, is it lucrative? I don't know yet because uh, until the sales figures start coming in, I won't really know. So it would yeah. uh, it would have to go along as as you go along. You probably have to decide yes, that, yes, right? Yes. Lots of authors and people who write whom I talk with are never very comfortable with this way that they have to. I don't mean plug the book, but they have to talk about the book. They have to interact with the media with people like <laughs> myself about the book itself. And I'm just wondering how you're handling that. Okay, so this has been my first experience. So I've taken two days off from work to travel and, you know. I speak. hope it's a good experience. Yes, so far it's been a lovely experience. It's been really nice. So I don't know whether that's because I'm a newbie and everyone's being really kind, but so far it's been a really well, lovely no, experience. I, I'm sure that's not the case at all because we do have a lot of people who are even very established, but uh, most people like to come and talk about their work and what they're doing and what they're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And it's a necessary evil, isn't it? Don't yeah, you think? Yeah. What, what about appearances in bookstores where the book is out? Have you done uh, any of that yet? I, have, I did visit a few bookstores in Delhi. Now, that's a bit I find a little embarrassing. In yeah. person to be actually yeah, there, so is Yeah, so even it? people in office kind of bring copies of the book. You know, I ordered this on Flipkart and will you please sign it for me? So I find that kind of stuff a little... Oh, you, I think you better get used to it. <laughs> it's, it's going to be right there for you. <laughs> um, in your family circle, uh, I know you did say that your husband encourages you and your in-laws and people around you. Um, do they sometimes feel that it's taking up a lot of your time? I think my kids definitely do feel that sometimes because, you know, they were used to me coming back from work and being completely focused on them. Uh, and now their time has, you know, maybe go to sleep. I just really need to finish yes, this right Yes, right, now. right. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something I feel a bit guilty about, honestly. But, but you're very successful and I don't see that, you know, you'll get over that guilt, I'll bet. <laughs> uh, when you sit down to write, do you do a page a day? Do you do lots? Do you do maybe the whole night and skip office next day? Or how does it work actually on a day-to-day -day basis? No, I normally, uh, like I said, I've tried to make it as structured as possible. So 10 to 11 at night, because that's kids' bedtime is 10, they're supposed to be asleep at 10, so 10 to 11. And Saturdays then, Saturday, Sundays, I write as... But Shuma, tell me, do you really think that you can actually structure it like that? I mean, because at, at the, after at the end of your two hours, you might still have a great idea or a great 
couple of more pages in you. Is it that easy to actually put the pen and paper down or put your laptop down and say, okay, that's it, I'm going to bed now, or that's it, I'm going to work now, I'm going to dress, feed the kids, do whatever else. Yes, yeah, so what I do then, um, yeah, so you don't feel like putting the laptop yes, of away, course, but then yes. you do know that you have to go to work the next morning, get up, get the kids ready for school, you have like a presentation to make to someone senior, you can't have bags under your eyes. Right, right, that. right. Uh, so uh, what I do is I just, uh, you know, jot down the pointers mm. and then work on it on the weekend. Right. You need to be very, very disciplined then in, in the way you are handling this whole thing. Full-time job, full-time mother, almost full-time writer. I mean, uh, to be that disciplined in a creative, um, you know, in a creative field is a little hard, isn't it? It is. It is, it is. So there are times when I'm like, okay, why am I trying to do all these things at the same time? But then overall, like I said, it's really helped with my husband, you know, kind of saying that, okay, now I'll take over with the kids. If you want to write, go and write. So he's been phenomenal that way. Do you like being a banker? Do you like being a writer? Which do I like more? Yes. Ah. Oh, no, that might be a bit of an unfair question. <laughs> I, I take it back. But uh, you enjoy being a banker? I do, I do. I do. I do enjoy being a banker. I like the whole number crunching bit and the analysis that goes into, you know, every piece of work we do. Uh, but uh, being a writer is probably more fulfilling. Right. Will your next book or one of your books be about a romance in a bank? I don't think so. Why? You must see it firsthand or aren't there romances in the bank? Oh, there are a lot. There are a lot. You'd be surprised how <laughs> many. Uh, but um, I think I'm just mentally also, like I said, I haven't spoken, I wasn't trying to speak. So I'm trying to keep the two fairly compartmentalized in my head. So I don't want to bring the bank into the book or the book into the bank, keeping them as separate as possible. Right. However, it'll be a pretty good um, insight into, I know, don't necessarily mean the figures and the numbers and the presentations of a bank. But uh, for people who don't really know what goes on behind the scenes, as it were, in, in a banking, in, in the banking industry, it'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? It would be. So maybe once I've got over this hang-up of needing to keep the two separate, I might do it maybe at a later but date. Perhaps you will put it all together, Shoma Naranin, and uh, continue success. Let me say that it's been a pleasure to have you on our program. I know you're here from Bombay for just a very, very, just the day, really. But I do appreciate your time. Thank you, Shoma. I wish you all Thank the you. very best. May you have many, many more books on the shelves just in the very, uh, you know, just in the future, just ahead of us. Thank you very much indeed. Well, that's all we have time for here on We Connect. And it's been our pleasure to have you join us on this program as I have spoken with Shoma Narayanan here. And don't forget to keep watching us every single weekend on this show. You'll meet people who are interesting, people who are fascinating, people who always have a story to tell us. And so until the next week, you take care. Bye for now.